everybody another video here for you today this story just popped up in the last day we are going to go down to mexico city here very interesting find was made down here by an airport not sure exactly where the discovery was made but this whole area is kind of a basin down here ancient lake once was in the area let's just take a look and do a little read this story has popped up on numerous websites dozens of mammoth bones found at mexico airport there's a pic there that's an old video here it says archaeologists have found the bones of about 60 mammoths at an airport construction just north of mexico city near human built traps where more than a dozen mammoths were found last year both discoveries reveal how appealing the area once a shallow lake was for mammoths the national institute of anthropology and history said thursday there is no immediate evidence that the 60 mammoths newly discovered at the old santa lucia military air base have been butchered by humans so no evidence they were butchered by humans so what happened here was this actually a human trap or is just is that their interpretation of what happened here that's an interesting question here's another look at the excavation work here some mammoth bones when you have a whole bunch of them no evidence of human butchering what exactly happened did this have anything to do with the events that happened 12 14,000 years ago that kind of changed sea levels and all that stuff i really wonder here's another pick from the site and you have a whole bunch of mammoth bones here probably suggests that they all died at the same time does this have anything to do with the megafauna extinction there are a bunch of questions here here is a look from the site. They have identified these as Columbia mammoths. They're making a plaster cast here of the huge tusks and skull here. They say these would have weighed over 20,000 pounds. They disappeared about 12,000 years ago. Found in a big pit. There is a few more pics from the site. They say these animals could have lived for about 65 years. It says down here, the pits were about six feet deep and 25 yards in diameter. The Institute said hunters may have chased mammoths into the traps. There's no evidence of human butchering on the bone, so that's a little odd. Here's a pic from the site. Would humans have been able to chase a huge herd of these giant creatures into a pit that really wasn't too big? Or did they end up here because of some other cause? I really wonder. There was human remains found near the area, but those came from maybe about uh, 2,000 years ago or so, 1,500 years ago from the Teotihuacan culture. It says here, as well as the fossil remains of the mammoths, 15 human skulls believed to be from the pre-Hispanic burials, along with receptacles pictured here, obsidian and remains of dogs have been found at the site. And what that is exactly, is that a turtle? I'm not sure. Here's a depiction of a Columbia mammoth. They have very little fur. When researchers first got to the site, they thought there might be about a dozen. There turned out to be almost 70. What exactly happened here if there's no evidence of human butchering? That is a big question. They say, well, hunter gatherers at this time kind of discovered these creatures in this area of the world. They came here to hunt them. But as I've covered human hunting of the megafauna, it was done. But in mass numbers, nope. Here's another look from the site, but maybe look into this yourselves. See what you can dig up. This is a quickie, glad to do it. That is a quick one coming from just north of Mexico City. Goes along with a few videos I have done lately, that time period. Large quantities of megafauna. No sign of human butchering. What happened? Big question. Hope you thought that was cool. And you all have a very safe day.